and Hamilton's Canadian Heroes hero, Chris Eklund, has sent his newest Canadian Heroes race car to Daytona. And Chris is in our studio today. Welcome to the studio, Mr. Waterfalls and Canadian Heroes Booster. Tell us about this event to viewers, Chris. Well, the uh, soldiers actually left uh, this morning and they uh, just called me and they're down in West Virginia as we speak and they should be there within about another, uh, they're going to drive all night long. And uh, we race the car at Daytona this Saturday at 4.30 and it's going to be live on uh, Speed TV. And so uh, the Canadian Heroes, I think most of us know about it, but this is a, a promotion really to honor our troops that you're funding yourself uh, because you're a kind individual and community-minded person. Uh, how many soldiers are you sending down and who are they? Well, there's four that are uh, in the car right now, and actually they're driving down in the uh, first memorial car, the one that a lot of people have seen all over Canada. Um, two are uh, Royal Canadian Dragoons out of uh, Petawawa. Uh, one local fellow, Joe Lavoy, he's an Argyle Southern Sutherland, and uh, Mike is actually from Lincoln Welland. And, and so they, once, once they get to Daytona, they're going to be participating in the race. Now, not the Daytona 500. It's another one, uh, not quite as famous, but still a very big deal. What is it, Chris? Well, at Daytona, what a lot of people don't know is that we call it Speed Weeks. There's a lot of racing that goes on basically over a month long. Um, the big stuff will start Saturday with the ARCA 200. That's the season kickoff for the ARCA series. That will then be followed by the Bud Shootout. And then basically you got about 10 days of back-to-back -back racing leading up to the day 2500. And of course, uh, the soldiers have some surprises in store for them once they get there. Do you want to tell us about that? It'll just be between us. It's uh, actually, I told them last night, it was uh, a couple big surprises actually, is the, the one, the big surprise personally for me was uh, we lost a soldier last year, Trooper Larry Rudd at a, that lived in Brantford, and um, Trooper Rudd's mother came last night to the meeting. And she actually met one of the soldiers that was uh, with her son when the uh, lab got hit by an IED. And uh, it was a very, very emotional time. But uh, for me personally, and I think most of, most of the people there, that was a, a big event. Um, but the soldiers themselves, as you were asking, is um, one of the big surprises I had from last night is that they are all going to be doing the Richard Petty driving experience. They're going to be doing eight laps uh, February the 14th at 3 p.m. And uh, basically, they're going to be in a NASCAR uh, car, a uh, 650 horsepower car, doing eight laps by themselves in the driver's seat. Isn't that great? Well, Chris, listen, good luck and thank you for doing this. It's a great tribute uh, for all of our soldiers, but especially these four that uh, are going down. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. And we also have in the